Good morning, ESM. Today we are at the kids' table, per tradition. With our sparkling juice, sparkling we are here juice. to talk about... Non-alcoholic. Today is do's and don'ts of Thanksgiving. More on that after news and announcements. A man and woman have been arrested and accused of firing gunshots near the manliest townhouse East Apartments. The incident happened just before midnight Saturday. Six gunshots were fired from an unregistered handgun. Officers found that in an investigation. Patrick McNally and Amber Valancourt both faced charges. McNally was charged with second-degree criminal possession of a weapon, reckless endangerment, and unlawful discharging of a firearm within 500 feet of a dwelling. Valancourt was charged with second-degree criminal possession of a weapon and two counts of endangering the welfare of a child. Governor Kathy Hochul saw, signed an LGBT bill protecting gender pronouns in New York. Joined by state lawmakers and advocates, Governor Hochul signed the new legislation Tuesday at the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Community Center in Manhattan. State Senator Jessica Gonzalez Rojas said in a statement, at a time when we are witnessing a record number of murders of trans, women, particu trans people, particularly trans women, and of anti-LGBT pieces of legislation being introduced and passed in other states across the nation, New York must take leadership and stand against hate. Sharita Semple, a former nur nurse aside, recently opened a new bakery called Treat Treats in Western Lights Plaza. The bakery features cheesecake and similar to the famous crumble cookie, they have six flavors that change daily. You can also make custom cheesecakes. Sharita wakes up early in the morning and bakes roughly 100 cheesecakes which quickly sell out. Our cheesecakes are selling out as fast as we can make them, she says. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. On Tuesday, November 30th, there will be a very brief but mandatory meeting for all ESM football players grades 9 through 12. This includes seniors who will be graduating. The meeting will be held in B23. Once again, this meeting will be very, very brief. Please see Coach Eschbacher if you have any questions. Uh, last night was the first night of the play. Stories from Radioland. Tonight is the last chance to come see the performance. Tickets are $10. You and your ticket at the door or online. Um, the website is onthestage.tickets and search Stories from the Radioland. Come see our fantastic show on stage. Can you see it? You got this one, yeah. Jaden. All right. Senior. Senior quotes are due by today. Go to esmyearbook.org to submit your quote. Late quotes may not be accepted. All right. So kicking it off as usual with our first don't, just leave politics out of any conversations. It's already such a stressful holiday and can be prone to a lot of drama. So just, just don't. I feel like politics inherently, just ex they only yeah. exist just to make everyone upset. So mm -hmm. let's just steer clear of those. And next, for the love of God, if it's a potluck-style Thanksgiving, just make sure to bring something. Like, everyone should be bringing their fair share of food, and just so we don't have any situations where one person is mooching off the uh, sparkling grape juice that Kai bought. Today we will have a high of 43 with some mixed rain and snow showers. Tomorrow we'll have some mixed sun and clouds with a high of 46. Sunday will be mostly cloudy with possible rain showers with a high of 48. Looking later into the week it will be mostly cloudy with highs in the 30s and 40s. I'm Gabby with your weather. And bringing it back for the dues. Uh, be a good guest. Show up a little early and help set up. Yeah, the person cooking, he already, they, whoever they are, they already have enough going on. So just try to do your part and help set up. And another one is, we got another don't, is don't bring someone who wasn't invited. Yeah, if the person hosting the dinner doesn't know who they are, 
it's just probably not a good idea for them to be there at all. I promise no one wants to meet your new girlfriend. They She's don't. not as great as you think. They, they're not. But uh, let's head to sports now. Last night, the MVPs for the MLB was announced as Bryce Harper named the MVP of the National League and Shohei Shohei Antonio was named MVP of the American League. The New England Patriots beat the Atlanta Falcons 25 to zero. The defensive play played amazing, racking up four sacks and four interceptions. Rookie quarterback Mac Jones had 207 yards and one touchdown. The Golden State Warriors outscored the Cleveland Calvers 38 to 36 to 8 in the fourth qu quarter in the win 104 to 89. Stephen Curry scored four points and shot 9 to 16 from three. I'm Leo with your sports. Thank you guys for listening in to the do's and the don'ts of Thanksgiving. Okay, okay bye. bye.